This is Homo naledi. Um, so this is a new fossil ancestor dating caves in South Africa where we find a lot of our fossil ancestors is extremely difficult and so they, they didn't have any ages to go with the fossil so it was uh, a human ancestor that we didn't really know how it fit into the evolutionary story but everyone that looked at the morphology of it um, thought well that looks quite old that's probably two million years or maybe a million years old so they're expecting it to really be at the base of the sort of family tree that sort of leads to our genus and eventually our species. We did a whole host of different dating methods. So some date the sediments themselves. Um, so I do a technique called paleomagnetism that looks at how the Earth's magnetic field reverses itself 180 degrees. And we can record that in the sediments and we know when the reversals are and it gives us an age. And what we found is that it's not too many years old. It's 300 uh, odd thousand years old to two and a bit thousand years old. It's a massive shock because something that looks as primitive is not meant to be on the landscape. At the same time that we get the beginnings of our species, Homo sapiens. The question now is, well, is still, well, you know, how does this it at all relate to our ancestry? Because this is what we're obviously always looking at. Um, is there the possibility of interbreeding? Or have we just not found the oldest of these fossils? Will we find older versions? And how does that fit into that evolutionary story? Thank you.